What is going on, guys? Mobile Care News here, and some shocking news and development, and not good news for T-Mobile. So, what basically happened with T-Mobile is they went to another uh, data breach, and this basically involved 100 million T-Mobile subscribers that got a huge data leak on a hacker that basically was able to hack into T-Mobile's system or security firm, and that's just honestly ridiculous in, in bad terms. This honestly, um, keep in mind, they, they basically hacked social security numbers, uh, I, 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 what is it, IEM, or they also hacked uh, billings, uh, billing cycles. They hacked pretty much everything of 100 million customers. And this is honestly not good in T-Mobile's hand. This is honestly another, another data, data breach that T-Mobile has honestly faced. Now, I remember I was with T-Mobile for what, for six months? And it's it hasn't even been a year, and this is the second data breach I've noticed with T-Mobile. I believe I made a, a video uh, months ago saying T-Mobile had a data breach, and this is honestly just ridiculous in my end. I don't know how T-Mobile can honestly just have so much lack in security. They're honestly not doing so well with that. I honestly think they need to hire uh, more professionals or something because this is just unacceptable. Now, as you know, I left Verizon. I think I believe I believe two months ago. As you can see now, I mean, sorry, I left T-Mobile. Sorry, I left T-Mobile and I'm now with Verizon. And this honestly never happens to Verizon AT&T because AT&T and, uh, and Verizon have a good security or, or IT tech support um, group of people that honestly keep the security at bay for their customers. But I don't know why T-Mobile can't really deal with that. Now, the hacker did state that they hacked a lot of, of info from T-Mobile uh, customers, including phone numbers. Um, including addresses, including uh, bill cycles, social security numbers, pretty much a lot of important sensitive information that people have on, on their personal data. And that information is honestly used to pay to, to, uh, to sign up for a service like T-Mobile. And the fact that 100 million T-Mobile customers were affected is honestly a big disappointment in T-Mobile. I can honestly see this news being bad on T-Mobile, especially their stock should probably drop by tomorrow. But this is honestly just, and uh, if it drops heavy, well, then that's on T-Mobile. You know, I'm sorry, they they caused this to happen. I don't know how T-Mobile would allow this kind of incident to happen because it's just unacceptable. That basically goes to show that T-Mobile needs to get working and do better on their security or IT tech security system and either hire more people or get their IT in check because this is honestly the second hack that i that i've been covering for t-mobile i do i honestly do remember i don't know which video it was but t-mobile was in trouble with this and i noticed t-mobile go, goes through a lot of hacks than any other carrier i don't know why this keeps happening t-mobile maybe they, they need to get everything in check i know t-mobile focuses a lot on their service marketing home internet but they also need to start focusing on security they need to be investing more in the security team because I don't think they barely touch their security because they think they're, you know, they're uh, the, the most unstoppable. Well, I hate to break it to T-Mobile and any other carrier, but security is never 100% secure. That's why you always keep hiring new employees, keep improving uh, security, updating everything, make sure there's no hack, there's no system, make sure your firewall is up to date, make sure nothing is out of place, out of balance. But this is just ridiculous on T-Mobile's end. I just can't believe this happened. And, you know... They base they uh T-Mobile basically stated not to not to freak out as a T-Mobile customer. Well, I hate to break it to T-Mobile, but I would honestly be freaking out because I know they don't want customers to worry, but this is a huge worrisome because if if I was with T-Mobile still and this affected me, I would be freaking out. I'm I'm just literally thinking what I would just literally be thinking so my data is breached, uh, my data could be sold to a, a third party, and my identity could be at risk, my phone number, um, my um anything else social security all that stuff i would be freaking out i would honestly be leaving t-mobile or maybe filing a lawsuit i'm not sure if i want to go that far with them but with what team 100 million t-mobile subscribe customers that is a lot of that is a lot of people and the hackers basically they basically told t-mobile okay so we hacked this and now we want two hundred and seventy seven thousand dollars, but in bitcoin they want it in Bitcoin. They don't want actual dollars. They don't want it through. They don't want it wired. They don't want it. They don't want it wirelessly. They want it through Bitcoin. So I don't know if T-Mobile owns any Bitcoin. 
I'm pretty sure they do. Like any other any other person want to own a lot of Bitcoin. Each Bitcoin is about fifty thousand dollars. They want I think six whatever bit whatever whatever equals two hundred and seventy seven thousand dollars for Bitcoin. The hacker wants that, and to make things even worse, even way worse, the hacker with um will will um the hacker will give back the data t mobile um p for if for the payment of two uh, two hundred and seventy seven grand but here's the here's the catch with the hacker the hacker is saying okay well why don't you pay since we'll give you the data however we'll only give you fifty percent of the hundred million the other fifty percent we're gonna sell it off to private equities private uh businesses private clients so basically T-Mobile is so basically T-Mobile's not winning here because they're basically screwed. So you so they want 277 grand of Bitcoin. And as after that, they're going to give 50% of uh, of those customer sensitive information back to T-Mobile, but the other 50% it, they're going to keep it and they're also going to sell it off to private equities, private companies or private people. So they can make more money off of it. So the hacker is honestly smart on this. And it's just not looking really good for T-Mobile. Um, maybe T-Mobile can give a higher ransom. Maybe they can give $600,000. I really don't I really don't think T-Mobile wants to pay that. And I honestly don't think T-Mobile should be paying that much. But at this point with the whole hacking situation, they have to. Because two hundred seventy grand that's a lot of money. But if T-Mobile wants to get all their 100 million subscriber... Uh, subscribe subscriber customers data back to them through this payment i think t-mobile should at least be paying one million dollars because the hat because the hacker will only give you 50 percent of the customer's data back for 277 grand that to me alone is just not enough not enough effort i i, I and i'm pretty sure t-mobile would want to t-mobile is okay with that okay we'll give them 277 grand for half of the data no, I do not think that's a good idea. T-Mobile needs to focus more on the customer base on this and just get all that data back. If I'm not sure, I'm not sure how the hacker thinks, but if but if I was T-Mobile right now, I would literally beg to give you a hundred uh, to give you one million dollars to give all the data back and not sell anything, because if T-Mobile agrees to give two hundred and seventy seven grand to the hacker for just fifty percent of that hundred million uh, uh, customer data. I've lost all hope for T-Mobile. Like, uh, like as you're a huge, you're T-Mobile's a billion dollar company. I don't know why you want half of that of the your customers' sensitive data back when the other half is just going to be sold to private equities clients or other people. You're you're, ba you're basically you're basically um you're basically throwing yourself a double edged sword because you're going to get half of the customer data, but the other data is going to be sold. And that's just gonna look really bad on T-Mobile. It's already looking bad at T-Mobile's end. Don't get me wrong. Like right now, what their situation is going on is really bad. But if T-Mobile takes that route, T-Mobile will lose all cred all credibility and customers and re and reliability. I honestly believe that could happen. I don't know how T-Mobile is gonna put what put up with the situation with two hundred and seventy seven grand. But I really hope T-Mobile at least throws in like a mill or e heck, e if it has to be two million dollars. Two million dollars, then T-Mobile has no T-Mobile has to do it. They because they have to get all that customer data back. They have because it's been breached. They have to get all that info back, all that sensitive information, emails, all that info. And 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 I also believe the hacker also took even even some of the their customers' phone um, um account data for your phones, like your IE, IEM and all that stuff, all that data that that's in your phone and settings. I believe the hacker took that too. So, uh, so T-Mobile has to act and put a one to two million dollars. This is my own personal opinion on T-Mobile. They have to they have to fork over one to two million to get the whole data of all those customers, and 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 what and once that's done, T-Mobile needs to invest heavy into their security IT and hire even more IT, even more security breed, even more experts of security. They have to hire more. They have to increase. They have to build up their firewall. However, they do it. They have to build that up because this is just ridiculous. And, or heck, it, okay. So I, I if if T-Mobile had to pay a hundred million dollars to get a hundred million subscribers, all that data, and 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 I know that's a lot of money for T-Mobile. At this point, T-Mobile, you just have to put that money up down. Like, if you lose a hundred million dollars to get a hundred million customers' data back and check, I, I at this point, it, just save your company. I would honestly send. I would honestly send it 
just give the money to the hacker. Like I, I wouldn't even complain back to the hacker because the hacker has T-Mobile by the by, by the by, by the belt. They basically have you by the belt. You're trapped. Like I don't know what T-Mobile is honestly gonna do. I really hope this is uh this uh turns around better for the best for T-Mobile because just with that lack of security is just really really bad it's a slippery slope they i've uh, they've been dealing with a lot of security breaches for the longest time um I, when i was with t-mobile for about six months i believe seven i covered a video and they had another sec uh, security breach now luckily i don't think i was affected i hope i wasn't i i don't believe i was affected because the last that data breach affected a lot of customers i think one million which is still a lot of customers like that is a huge percentage of what T-Mobile has, but I, I honestly don't believe I was I, I was affected, so I was kind of relieved. I, I never made a phone call to T-Mobile to see if I was affected. I, I don't believe I was affected, so I, I was pretty calmed down, and I was upset about that, and I'm still upset how T-Mobile is still facing these data breaches. They really need to be investing in their customers' security and security first because... It, because if this keeps going on, T-Mobile is going to lose a lot of customers. I guarantee you they're going to be going downhill with customers. At this point, customers won't care about the coverage or speed. They'll come more about they're, they're going to care more about security. And the security that can that can honestly help the, the customers more is AT&T and Verizon. That's just my two cents. And um I and like I like I said, T-Mobile needs to invest more not just in their marketing, not just in their speeds coverage they need to be investing more in security it tech developing more software security more it security all that stuff timo really needs to get everything in check because this is just unacceptable i don't know how team will collect this slide i'm really curious to see how this honestly happened but want to see see want to see what happens when t-mobile breaks up the news uh, whatever goes on the next in the next um coming days how will the ceo respond to this i'm pretty sure he's He'll have to he'll have to at least make a statement to the customers because I this is just unacceptable. Um, I don't know how T-Mobile could let this slide, but let me know what you guys think about this breach. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.